Hanging out with Patrick Mooney from The Athletic. You guys know him, uh, beat writer for the Cubs, uh, and one of the best, really one of the best out there in, in doing this. All right, let's talk Cody Bellinger. Uh, I'm going to tell you, as critical as I was about the Jamison tie-on contract, which I wasn't a big fan of, uh, I thought this one had the potential to be just huge, and it was even better than I thought. I thought, well, you get a one-year deal. You're paying a guy that used to be an MVP. We know he was injured. Um, but he came in, and it, I, his game was so much better than I even anticipated. I thought, well, maybe he'll put up some good numbers, and you know, you can trade him at the deadline and get something for him. What, what happened was Cubs fans, they fell in love with this guy because he plays the game the right way. You put him at first base, you put him in, in center field, he plays great defense, runs the bases hard. He is a tough out, lefty or righty. So now the problem is he had such a great season, although he was a little tired down the stretch, but I think that's something that you can say about a lot of players that the Cubs had. Um, everybody wants him back, but now I think his value is so high, and he's got this agent, a guy named Scott Boris, if you've ever heard of him before, but he can be very difficult to deal with unless you're ready to dish out a lot of years and a lot of money. Well, yeah, but this this was the plan all along. Like I, there was no way he wanted a multi-year deal coming off of being non-tendered by the Dodgers. There was zero interest, or it made no sense to try and do an in-season thing. And technically, I guess they still have an exclusive negotiating window, but there's no point <clears throat> in Bellinger going this far and having this much success to even entertain that idea. And if you're the Cubs, you're not going to, just bid against yourself. And I think it will be fascinating to see how teams value Bellinger. Like there aren't many center fielders out there who can bring it offensively. Uh, the Boris factor is real. Like if he finds some owner, um, you know, an example that's fresh in my mind is the Xander Bogarts contract with the Padres uh, last winter. I think that might have been 12 and 280. I mean, it's it's in that type of ballpark. Like the Cubs have shown, have given no indications that they would ever entertain something like that in terms of years. Um, at the same time, the Cubs have more information on Cody Bellinger than anyone else uh, in, in terms of recent information. No other organization is going to have like more references in support of bringing back Bellinger mm -hmm. than the Cubs. Uh, he loved playing at Wrigley Field. The Cubs complex is not far from his offseason home and where he grew up. Um, the Cubs are going to be in this. Uh, I think it just comes down to, you know, whether some owner out there it just does something you know irrational that we're not you know we, that we would not have expected and the cubs don't operate that way tom ricketts says that's a jed decision that he gets the resources it's up to him to spend it how he sees fit so um bellinger fit in a lot of meaningful ways it was it i got flashbacks to Theo Epstein's end of season press conference a couple of years ago saying like our offense broke or Joe Madden talking about a two strike approach and just how, uh, you know, tough that offense could be to watch, even though there was lots of individual talent, like Bellinger brought a great swagger to the clubhouse. Uh, he is a great example in the batter's box of how to like think through the game and play the game as it's presented to you. And you know, for a guy in a contract year, he was very unselfish moving back and forth between first base and center field. Now that unselfishness will ultimately get him paid a lot more money than maybe he would have otherwise. Right. But, uh, you know, I think, you know, I still think he probably signs somewhere else, but I think the Cubs will be in it until like the last round of bidding. Yeah. That's kind of how I feel too. My gut feel. Yeah. Yeah.